right, so today we are in Seattle getting ready to do another comic book haul at this Half Price Books. If they have parking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I took advantage of the half price books, 50% off on your most expensive item sale. I went down to the Seattle University of Washington District location, grabbed this nice little haul. Let's see how much I paid for this. There are roughly just about 28 comics. Here you see the total that I paid. My most expensive being the uh, a dollar. So that's normally half, and then they have a code for additional half of that. So I pay 25 cents for the most expensive one. Which comes to be, which happens to be this one, Batman starring Detective Comics, issue number uh, 485, back in 1979. Uh, it's one of these double spectacular size covers for a dollar. Somebody just told me that there was something happening in this issue for me to grab it. So that's the reason why I picked this up. I couldn't find any other deals in their in their um, expensive comic box, valuable box to pick anything from. So I just decided to go with that one. And here are the rest of the clearance items. Street Fighter. You guys remember this movie came out back in the, I think it was like the late 90s. This is the official comic book adaptation. Jean-Claude Van Damme on the cover. And this is the Know You Ghost Rider series, issue number 11. He looks totally different, I guess, from all the past movies, how much that he sucked and how bad it did. He decided to revamp him, I guess, give him a new look. Just don't come out with another movie. And the original Dick Tracy, this one is from uh, Gladstone Comics. This one's pretty old. Dick Tracy versus Mrs. Pruneface. This is back in 1990. Oh, I thought it was older than that. Condition looks like it was like 1970s or something like that. And Chu, issue number 43 from Image Comics. Of course, we know Image is blowing up with The Walking Dead. And this one is, um, I decided to go pick up some of these vertical comics because it seems like um, Hollywood Studios is trying to borrow from uh, Marvel and DC. And of course, DC. It's vertical it is their mature audience um, uh, publishing. So this is the ent ent what's this? The exterminators. Also, I thought it was enter exterminators vertical issue number one. That's why it's a cool cover with cockroach. Eclipse comics issue number one. Airboy. Don't ask. I don't know who he is, but it seems like a pretty cool cover to have. I got some of these brand new Infinity Gauntlet. This is issue number three. I think this came out like last year or this year. Um, where does it say? Yeah, it came out oh, last year in October. And issue number two. By the way, I do have the original Infinity Gauntlet series. I believe I'm ish missing issue number two. Iron Patriot number three. Who is Iron Patriot? I mean, I know War Machine, but Iron Patriot... Yeah, whoever he is, I don't know much about him. If you guys know additional information, hit me up in the comic section. Some of these are Image and Top Cow collab. Oh man, this one's signed. I just noticed that. Michael Turner's Phantom number one. Who is this artist? D.E. Starts with D.E. something. Oh, that's O'Neal. Signed by O'Neal. That's the artist, right? Hmm. Usually it's the writer and then the artist. I grabbed a couple of these Infernal number one. Got doubles. And Valiant Comics Imperium. I don't pick up too many in Valiant, so it's a rarity right there. And this one is Marvel issue number one. Cool cover. The Immortal Weapons. 
Oh, there's a pretty cool cover with um, Fat Cobra, who the hell he is. Spirit of the Tile, issue number one. I like the artwork. And I grabbed some of these um, Tomb Raider and Witchblade collaboration between Idols, the video game um, um, publishing, and also Top Cow Comics. And also another one of this, I guess it's different covers. Different variation of it. And Michael Turner's Fathom. This is the preview, swimsuit preview or something like that. 1998. I'll give you a sneak peek. It's just some uh, artwork, sketch work, you know, layout, stuff like that. Well, it's pretty cool. And another one of these Tomb Raider. Oh, well, the other one's Team Raider. Yup, Tomb Raider Witchblade again. And what, what issue is this? That's where they specify. I wish they specify on the cover. This is volume one, number one again. Hmm. Yep, I got doubles. I need it for my eBay store too. So make sure you check me out, J underscore rule. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, issue number one for America's Best Comics. And this one was hidden. I had looked through the regular uh, box they had. Until today, it was a Spider-Man issue number one. I guess somebody was trying to hide it. They were planning to buy it later or something like that. I was just too lazy to put it back in the clearance section. And here are a whole bunch of Batman comics. You can never go with Batman, especially with clearance. Batman issue number 627. Number 628. Jeepers Creepers. Issue number 630, you got The Last Straw. Man, looks like he's on steroids, Bruce Wayne. You're going to need those steroids to fight Superman next week. Actually, and actually this week. Oh, I'm going to do a special movie review too, so make sure you check that out. And I'll be showcasing some of my um, most valuable Batman Superman comics. Batman number 689 is the Batman Reborn. And you got, is that the Joker? Yup. Joker on the cover, the year one later, 653. Last but not least is Batman Superman, number 24, and Lowe being one of my favorite artists too. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little haul video. I'll make sure you take advantage of that half price books only coupon today, 50% off. You have until 10 p.m. Pacific in the Pacific. So once again, another Kind of a hard video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe as always. Happy collecting.